Hi everyone, guess what time it is? Yep, it's time for another front porch thrift haul. Beautiful day again today in New York State. I'm loving it. So I thought I would do this video for you all outside. Um, besides the fact that it's freezing in my house because I had the air on all night, so I wanted to come out here and warm up a little bit. So, uh, today is a Goodwill thrift haul and a Salvation Army thrift haul, but I also have a few things that I picked up at Fuller's Flea Market as well. So this is all from uh, this past Tuesday. Uh, today is actually Friday when I'm filming this. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'll just do Goodwill first. Um, and I will tell you, I actually bought clothes at Goodwill. And I don't normally do that because they're much more expensive than they are at Salvation Army. But I found some really nice things. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna grab them. Uh, I spent $92. And I think I did pretty well for the amount of items that I got and what I spent. Okay, so I'm gonna show the clothing items first just to get those out of the way. So I did find this really cute pair. Now these remind me of, you know, back in the 60s, but look at these cute shorts. They're like polyester. <laughs> but I love them. They're Fashion Nova. Let me just do up this belt real quick so I can show you. I just love them and they're comfortable and I was trying to find a shirt to go with them, but I wasn't able to find one. Uh, but hopefully eventually I will find one to go with them. So I got those. I'm gonna throw them right back in the bag. I got this pair. You know me, it's all about comfort. I got these. Love the color, love the style, kind of like a cargo short. I got these elastic waist, you all know. Y'all know, they're just a pink capri. Nobody sees the waist anyway when you have a shirt over the top, so I feel like my mother now. <laughs> These I absolutely love, love these capris. Look at the colors and the pattern. These are Van Heusen. I love them. Okay. Um, I, got, oh, I got another pair of capris, just white ones. And these are the nice uh, stretchy ones. Tira Sky, that's Walmart. Then I got a few shirts, some t-shirts, just this, this is um, fresh, cleantees.com, very soft, love the color. I like V-neck t-shirts as opposed to round neck t-shirts. I also got this one because I liked the color and it goes with those pants the Paisley patterned um, pants. I got this is a really cute tank top. Cream colored. Who is that? Lo Loco layers or something? I don't know. I just liked it. Um, I just got this t-shirt for knocking around. It's Nike. About that game. And then I got this shirt as well. This also goes with the of uh, those uh, these pants here. I got this shirt. Jacqueline Smith. 
So this goes really nicely with these pants. So those are the clothes that I got for myself at Goodwill, if you can believe that. So I got quite a few things clothing wise. Okay, um, then I got this amazing Vera Bradley purse. Guys, this purse is like brand new. Look at the colors. This is a nice big one. That's the clasp for this outer pocket. Let's do that up. Then inside, inside it has a zipper pocket on this side, nice size zipper pocket. And then it's got three pockets on this side. Nice, beautiful purse in fantastic condition. Yipper. So that's a resale item. Put that in the bag here. Okay, then I got some uh, glassware items. Um, so I saw this and at first I couldn't get the lid open. I'm like, what the heck is going on with this thing? Well, I still haven't cleaned it. I have to clean it, but I will show you. <laughs> it is this, uh, it's a silent butler. It's Andrea by Sedeck. And um, I have to tighten up the handle here, but inside it's all sticky. It's got like, I don't know, syrup or something in there. It's disgusting. So I have to wash that. I should have washed it before the video, but I actually forgot <laughs> that it was dirty. So yeah, so I got that. I got this beautiful um, Halls Superior Quality. This is the poppy pattern, and it is a, a casserole dish. Very nice. It's in really great condition. Um, it does have some, you know, it does have paint loss around the rim because it did have, uh, it looks like silver. So... So I got that. Then I got this beautiful, um, I'm thinking this could be Fostoria, the American pattern, or as we call it, Cubist. It looks like um, a two-handled, maybe a sugar bowl. Pretty sure this is Fostoria. The clarity of the glass is awesome. So, uh, and the cubes are more pronounced than uh, Whitehall. So I got that. I got these gorgeous, these are uh, probably 30s or 40s, I would think. These beautiful, large shakers. They are in fabulous condition. Look at the size of these. Beautiful. I didn't notice any chips or anything on these. So those are nice. I got a couple plates. Look at this one, guys. This is a beautiful vintage Christmas plate. Isn't this awesome? I love it. Look at the graphics. Isn't that amazing? Um, and it says on the back, to Uncle Mickey and Aunt Rose, Rosemary from Matthew, 1956. Look at that. Isn't that an awesome piece? Then I got this one. This one is hand painted and signed. Uh, the initials are RDM. Um, look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Oh my gosh. There's no markings on the back, so I have no idea where it was made, but it's just gorgeous. Back then, they used to send just plain, they called them blanks, 
and um, they had people that would just sit and hand paint them. So that is a gorgeous one. I'm gonna try to set these in here without them getting broken. Setting them like in between the clothes and stuff. So that way it's easier for me to carry this stuff back in the house. All right. Um, then I got this gorgeous Amberina. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Fenton compote, or you could use it for anything. I do have my light, but it's not going to show if it glows out here. I'm pretty sure it probably does, but yeah, it's, it's hard to see out here in this light. But um, it's in perfect condition. It has no, no issues at all. Okay, and the last thing that I got, and this, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this or keep it. This is amazing. Look at this vintage light fixture. Isn't this awesome? I was thinking of keeping it and putting a couple of um, yeah, solar lights inside or you know, solar fairy lights or something and hanging it outside. I absolutely love this. But the only thing is it would be hard for the solar lights to get sun um, unless I could try and finagle a way for them to sit at the top instead of down inside. So I don't know. I'm going to have to, well, first of all, I need to look this up. Uh, to see, you know, what something like this would sell for. But I just think this is awesome. I love it. So in the one bag, I got these awesome cross stitch, counted cross stitch. They're brand new. There's this one. So these were at somebody's garage sale because they still had stickers. I got that one. This one is a pillow. Wildflower Delight Pillow. The first one was a picture. This one is, uh, oh, cruel. This one is a cruel one. Lovely scented sh sachets, which would make a great uh, gift for someone. And they even have the scented stuff in here. This one is Designers Limited. I don't know. It's a little pillow. And everything's in here. These are all brand new sealed. Then this one, this one has two price tags on it from a yard sale. This one is, um, well, you can't see it because this stuff, let me open this bag. I hate to open it, but it's four different pictures. There's four different pictures in here. They're all teddy bears and it comes with the little frames, the floss and your, um, your material. It's the whole, the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle. So that was one. Oh, and then this also came um, in there. So that was that was nice. That was a great find. All right. So that was one goodie bag, and then the second goodie bag was this beautiful fall um, tablecloth, brand new. It is, uh, let me see, 70 inch round, 70 inch round. And this is what it looks like on the table. 
Then I got, in, also in with that, was this uh, decorative flag for outside. Look how cute that is. Um, I think this is, this is folded. So I don't know if this is a 28 by 40, because I don't see, I don't see any measurements on it. Um, but it is brand new, and it originally was um, $10, so. And then, also in the bag, were these two Pioneer Woman decorative tablecloths. And I'm so glad these were in there, because I could use these for decoupage. Yes, and look at the colors. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What amazing colors. I love these. They're 54 by 84. And also in the bag was uh, these little Halloween treat bags. Eight of them. So those will come in handy for um, Halloween time uh, to put things in for package toppers. So there was that. I got this. This is a very old vintage scrapbook that was never used. Well, it looks old and vintage to me, but I'll let you be the judge. I'm just trying to get the sticker off of here. All right. Look at this. And here are the pages. Look at, this is old. It's definitely old. And none of them are used. <laughs> um, I also got this amazing puzzle. Brand new sealed. 1,000 pieces. Isn't that awesome? Okay, and the last item, the last couple of items, <laughs> I got, I said, oh, let me see what's in this box, right? Because it was sitting on the, the shelf. And it in here is this beautiful, look at this. It's like, it is a, it's a table runner, or you could use it as a dresser scarf. Isn't that gorgeous? It's 100% linen. Um, it's amazing. Just gorgeous. I'm glad I opened up the box. Okay, now I just got to put it back in here. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, here is the um, sticker. So that's gorgeous. And the last thing <laughs> I got is this Vera Bradley. This is a, I have to wipe it out, but this is in fantastic condition. It is another travel bag. For makeup, you could put anything in here. Makeup, shampoos, brushes, combs. It's got a nice zipper pouch down here. It's in fabulous condition and I love the colors. Yes, so I love this. All right, so that is everything from Goodwill. I'm just gonna set this stuff right over here. All right, now continuing on to Salvation Army. I got this to put away. Um, it is this Gerber blanket. It's a nice little quilted puffy um, blanket. 
So that's for me to put away for my future grandchild. Hopefully it's, you know, a girl because <laughs> it's girl colors, but who cares? Who cares? All right, then I got this awesome old vintage bird cage. I love this. I will probably um, maybe spray paint it. I'm not quite sure yet, but I absolutely love this. And it opens right here. You just slide these two um, pieces inside, I guess like that. See? So I got that. Um, this I thought was really, really cool. Look at this. This is like, it's wood. It's hand carved. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? This would be great for somebody that's got rustic decor or for a guy. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, I also got this. Um, my plan is, whoops, not to break it. My plan is, I need to tighten this. Um, I love this. Look at this. Vintage light fixture. I, I mean, it's got all its wires and everything. I would love to hang this um, outside my garage because the one that's in there now is like really old and ugly. And so I thought, what I could do is I could either have uh, a friend of mine wire this and, uh, and put it on for me, or I could put, um, you know, solar lights inside of it. I really don't know yet. I definitely would repaint it because it's a mess right now. But um, this is from Underwriters Laboratories. This is an oldie. This is an oldie but I love it. It reminds me of an ice cream shop or something. I don't know why, but it does. Then I got this for myself. This is um, an awesome, if I don't break something, uh, light up mirror and it's magnified on one side and then regular on the other side. There's your magnified side and it works beautifully so that's for me then I got this this uh, still has the original sticker this is anchor hawking I have sold several of these and this is in mint unused condition as you could see it still has the anchor hawking sticker so that was a nice piece to find. Um, then I got this. I have to wash it, but look at it. It's purple. It's this awesome brandy snifter, a huge one. Some of y'all probably could use this for a wine glass, uh, like my girl Tammy from Vintage Uprising, Texas. <laughs> she loves her wine. So this would just mean less trips to the fridge. <laughs> but, and it's purple, so love that. Then I got this three-piece set. This is Redware, and this is the batter pitcher. Look at that. syrup. These are in perfect condition, guys. Perfect. Not a chip anywhere, as long as I don't chip it. And your melted butter. So if you're having a pancake breakfast, you would be all set. Awesome set. OMG. I couldn't believe my eyeballs. And it's in perfect condition, like I said. Then I got this. I just love this. Um, this is actually signed. The person's name is Hartman. And I will show you. I just want to take the sticker off. 
Um, look at this piece of pottery. Isn't this awesome? This would look so cool with a plant or a succulent. I love it. Lo I'm telling you, I'm really getting into the pottery. Stand up. Uh, and the last item that I got, this is a made in Italy. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, guys. It's filthy. Look at this gorgeous casserole. Oh my goodness. Look at the handles. Let me show you the lid. Isn't this a beauty? Uh, let me show you the bottom. It says, what the heck is this? Keramic made in, oh no, this was made in Austria? Wait a minute, give me my, give me my magnifying glass. K-E-R-A-M-I-K, made in, I don't know what that says. I cannot make that out. I cannot make that out. I'll show you guys, but I don't think you're going to be able to make it out on my camera. But, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. So, it's actually... Uh, it's actually a soup terrain uh, because it does have the uh, notch for the ladle. However, it didn't come with its ladle. So, I mean, you could still use this as a casserole dish and put your spoon in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love this piece. I love it. It is beautiful. Oh, I'm just trying to reach my receipt so I could tell you guys what I spent at Salvation Army. So all total, I spent $73.40. And I think I got quite a bit, including the clothes, for $73.40. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just pause this really quick and grab my few items from Fuller's and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back with uh, the rest of this haul video. And I did, uh, as I said, stop at Fuller's and pick up a few items. So let me show you what I got. Um, unfortunately, a while back when I purchased all that Fenton hobnail, I found one of these candle holders, but I couldn't find the other one. So I ended up just selling it single. Well, I found the other one. So, if you are watching, I can't remember who it was that purchased this candle holder, this Fenton, um, but I do have the pair for it, the other one to make it a pair. Uh, so I did pick that up. And if, um, if the person that bought the first one doesn't want it, then I'll just sell it um, by itself. Um, I also picked these up. Those are those like, I don't know what they call these. I, I don't know, I guess there's all these little tiny beads. I call them beaded fruits. So as if you remember in my last video from Goodwill, I had bought the bags of fruit and there were fruits in there like these. So that's why I bought the grapes to go with those. So there's that. Then I got this vintage uh, picture frame, a double frame, and I just love this. I am probably going to keep this for five by seven size pictures. 
I also found, pretty sure this is a Hazel Atlas Butter Yellow Creamer. I think this could be the, is this the monotone? This is the monotone um, pattern, I believe. It's not marked Hazel Atlas, but I know it's Hazel Atlas. You know how you just know? I just know. <laughs> then I got this beautiful creamer. Look at that creamer. E-A-P-G. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, I did get a set of five shot glasses. I have uh, a Stoli's one, Stoli Shinoya. Another Raspberry Stoli's. These are the nice tall ones. That's like a double shot. This one is Sousa Tequila. I have Beef Eaters Dry Gin. And Kahlua. Then I bought a set of four. I believe these are Depression Era. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they are. They are pink depression with that beautiful swirl pattern. There are three in this size and then one taller one. So I'll show you the difference between the two. So, so I grabbed those. And the last thing that I got is this beautiful set of wall sconce globes. Look at those. Is that not an amazing color blue? Oh, they are gorgeous. I love the pattern too. Can you imagine the design that would throw on a wall? Oh, gorgeous. I love those. So guys, that was all I got at Fuller's. And um, I had donated um, a few things. And so Brenda and, um, oh my God, Jerry <laughs> wouldn't take any money because I donated stuff. So I got all of this for free. So. Yep, yep I did. So guys, that is gonna do it for this triple thrift haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly enjoy shopping for these items, let me tell you, a little bit too much. <laughs> so don't forget guys, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and then hit the bell so you get notified anytime I go live or, uh, you know, upload a new video. Don't forget to leave a comment and share my videos too. Sharing really gets my channel out there. And I also wanted to remind everyone to please watch at least 30 seconds of the commercials that are in the videos because that's how us YouTubers get paid in case you didn't know that. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna get going. I got a million things to do as usual. So I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.